my name is Antoinette Perry and I work at the Institute of Molecular Medicine based at St. James's Hospital. Our aim is to identify uh, abnormalities in our DNA that can be used in conjunction with PSA to identify aggressive prostate cancer at an early stage while it's still potentially curable and also to distinguish between patients with high risk and low risk disease. We are hoping to improve the current um, strategies for early detection of prostate cancer and improve upon PSA as a prostate cancer marker by identifying abnormalities that occur in our DNA and using these um, in conjunction with PSA to identify those men who urgently require treatment and to distinguish between high risk and low risk disease and to offer patients more of a, a prognostic marker. So we've just started um, a really exciting new study in the lab uh, working on a relatively new class of genes and these genes were only discovered about 15 years ago in worms and um, over the past couple of years they've been shown to be really important in cancer. They're called microRNA genes as their name suggests they're really really tiny genes and what's really unusual about them is that they don't actually make any end product in the cell. Instead they act as a master switch and can turn off um, hundreds of other genes in the cell and in cancer this is really important because it means they regulate um, many different cellular processes. So we're looking at um, abnormalities in these microRNA genes in prostate cancer and we're using samples of tissue, blood and urine that we've been collecting through the Prostate Cancer Research Consortium in order to see whether these abnormalities in these microRNA genes can be used to signal the presence of aggressive prostate cancer. I enjoy being a cancer researcher um, on a personal level. I find it very humbling being involved in uh, research that may someday help alleviate suffering from such a widespread disease. On an intellectual level, um, I find working in cancer research incredibly rewarding that everyday experiments that we're performing in the laboratory are addressing questions that we simply don't know the answers to and nobody in the world knows the answers to. And that, um, the answers that hopefully we'll come up with will help um, increase our knowledge of cancer. I'm very fortunate to be a member of the Prostate Cancer Research Consortium which um, enables me to interact with nurses, surgeons, pathologists and fellow scientists to ensure that the questions that I'm addressing um, are really important and uh, clinically relevant. The Irish Cancer Society to me is a body that's very broad reaching and touches many people's lives, patients um, as well as scientists and doctors and nurses and clinicians. It will hopefully give me the opportunity to help educate the public about the importance of basic science research in driving forward better diagnostics and treatment for cancer patients.